probar el alcalde sin micrófono. Hola. Hola, buenos días. Buen día. ¿Quién habla? <risa> bueno. Señor. Hola. Señor. Sí. Ajá. No, estoy con el nombre de Julieta. ¿Alguien me ve? Sí, yo. Sí. Yo no me más. Yo estoy, nosotros estamos como María Julieta, pero somos Cindy y Gabriel. Ok, yo no los veo. Bueno, nada más veo a una persona, a la compañerita, pero no sé su nombre. ¿Ya? Acá sí. estoy yo. ¿Ya? Ya. Hola. ¿Sí nos vemos los dos? Sí. Sí. ¿Algo guapo? Sí. Arroz. Está Pati, Gar Patricia García, Anelín, Mónica, sin audio. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Sí, sí, ya y Gabriel. Nada más que nosotros estamos en donde aparece María Julieta, porque entramos con esa clave. Ok. Ya los vi. ¿Ah? Hola, yo soy Patricia, pero voy a quitar la, la cámara. Tengo una ventana atrás, no puedo cambiarla. Y la verdad es que se ve muy oscuro. ¿Y yo cómo me veré? Se ve muy oscuro, muy claro para mí. Ay, a ti, Arlet, no me veo. Arlet, no veo, Arlet, nada más estoy viendo a Marcela. A Marcela, nada más. Oh, oh. Ok, hello, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. So, very welcome to our first virtual session, English B2. We are going to have um, a very short session because in this app we only have 40 minutes free. So, we are going to do our best to complete all the topics that I have planned for you today. So, let's check what we are going to cover today. And let me know if you are... You are watching the screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, well, today we are going to cover some issues. I, 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 first, the first is the introduction of Unit 3. We are just going to check 
the reading that I have already assigned for homework. Um, I also want to explain about the Schoology. I have already opened a group for you there in order to have a better control of homework. I have already opened this group for you and I will let you know how to, how to register in this uh, learning platform. And at the end, we are going to have, if the time uh, let me, of course, we are going to have some questions or doubts. If some questions come up, please let me know. In the chat, I have already sent a link. Please copy the link. And um, at the end of the session, I want you to register your attendance there in that link, okay? Okay. As I was telling you, um, we are going to start with the introduction of Unit 3. As you know, um, I sent some worksheets and in the first we have um, a reading and in the calendar of activities I already sent some questions for Unit 3. And the first question that you had to answer was, what was the the current number of population around the world. Do you remember that? It was there in, in our book. If we go to our books, I will share with you the screen if you cannot see it. But in your book, on page 37, we have some questions to introduce the unit. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. Yes. 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 Now it says, what is the world uh, population now? Do you know? Did you investigate? Does anybody know what is uh, the world population? Yes. 7.7 billion. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. yes. What is that? I think with the reading, it's 7 million. 7 million? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Hundred seventy five, maybe because we have ten years before the 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 uh, t -t talk. Oh yes, yes, you're right. But uh, yesterday I found out that it's about seven million seven hundred seventy five million. 718,093. It's growing every day. Every day is growing. Yeah, it's okay. So as you can see, there are too many people around the world. And we have another question. It says, what are some problems that dramatic population growth can cause? Okay, I, re I research some of them. I um, have the next Increase and in unemployment, increased cost of living, overpopulation is therefore one of the greatest challenges we have now. Yes, very good. Another person can tell me the second. Increasing the, po the poor of population, uh -huh. the poor, rate of poor, millions and millions of poor. Poor people, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, increased yes. demand for resources such as fresh water and food. Mm -hmm. I think pandemics. I uh, pandemics are a big problem for big population. Mm -hmm. Another yeah. one is the global warming. Global warming. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pollution and global warming is true. So we can say that population is very, very dynamic and is growing every day. Mm -hmm. so, uh, in the last years, there have been uh, a significant uh, growth in the global population, but it's still growing and is likely to continue that way unless we take action. But nowadays, as you can see, there are people that are dying due to the, mm -hmm. the pandemic that we have around the world. So maybe with this phenomenon, if 
possible to decrease a little bit. Yeah. Don't you yeah. think? Yeah. And as, as you said, uh, it caused a lot of poverty. So the, um, usually the poorest people are always at great risk from environmental damage and climate change and, you know, the, um, the lack of natural resources. Yeah. Uh -huh. But on the other hand, as you know, the world's poorest countries tend to have the largest family sizes. And you know why? It's because of the highest fertility rates. The highest fertility rates are in the countries uh, that are the poorest. And you know, when people uh, don't have economic security and they can decide on their governments and <laughs> safety, like in Mexico, maybe, they often have children to ensure they will be looked after when mm -hmm. old. This is like uh, what people of the developing countries think. And another point is that the, the people in those countries, they have always a greater desire to have more and more children because this leads to a, a culture maybe in, mm -hmm. in which the, the lack of, of uh, family planning is, is limited. So they rely always on high family size, like, you know, in other countries, like in India, like in Africa, China. it comes like a, like a cycle and a never, end, a never ending cycle. So let's, let's see what, what is in the text. In the text, as you can remember, yeah. Teacher, yes. uh, I uh, I um, want to do an opinion about the. Yes, sure. Yes, okay. Uh, in 1960 years ago, people looking for food and clothes, another uh -huh. people yes. looking for a good car. But uh, mm -hmm. 10 years ago, the people have other prior priorities. Priorities. Uh, uh -huh. A priorities because because uh, the living the because there are other levels economic levels and they uh, want other other things like a bicycle a, a journey planes other prior, priorities priorities thank you. Yes, very good. Anybody wants to comment on this? Well, I, I remember that the families had only in uh, the economics powers, uh, only had uh, two children, maybe the families, because, be, but in other latitudes, uh, the families have many, many sons, many children. Yes, it's true. Yeah, especially in the developing countries. Yeah. Like in Africa. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's go to the reading. Um, okay. The, the reading mentions many problems, uh, for example, about the overpopulation, about uh -huh. the... the environmental problems uh, about the social social problems uh, such as crime and lack of respect of their people uh, many many problems in the society mm -hmm. okay so let's check uh -huh. let's check uh, do you think that the writer is pessimistic or optimistic what do you think Realistic. Optimistic. Realistic. realistic. It's very realistic. <laughs> realistic. Not either optimistic or, or pessimistic. It's uh, realistic. Okay. So first, um, can you visualize the reading on your screen? 
Yes. 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 Now, so the first the first exercise says letter B. Pamela Clark yes, states. Yes, I agree. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Yes, B. everybody. Letter C. Yes. Letter, letter B. Letter B. are related to other population. Okay, good. Now it says many of the world's ills have no relation with overpopulation. How can you correct this sentence? Anybody can tell me? Without no. Without no. Okay. Yes. Many of the world's ills have relation with overpopulation. Good. And yes. according to the writer, overpopulation doesn't affect people's relationship. We must to 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 live doesn't because it's those. Overpopulation does affect people's relationship. Yes, uh -huh, with yes. emphasis, right. Because the yeah. lack of space is uh, um, a problem. To live. And also the people be... <laughs> yeah. Yes, the lack uh, of the, the space. The people huh? be, becomes yes. an antisocial yeah. behavior. Okay. Like the rat. Ma Many environment problems, such as rising levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide, global warming and pollution are aggravated by the population expansion. Okay, the very population good. Expansion. Mm -hmm. So according to the reading, it says that the less space people have to live in, the harder it is for them to get on well with each other. Yes. 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 And in exercise three, we have a, a chart in which we have cause and effect. Yes. Is yes. the personal space is reduced? What is the effect of this? Uh, so antisocial behavior. At, uh, antisocial behavior. Antisocial behavior that. Then, yes. Also. Mm -hmm. uh, a violence increase. Yes, violence increase. Increase. Uh -huh. Competition, maybe competition for jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for jobs. I for say weather, that for get on well food, with, for with each other. Oh, yes. right. for, yeah. for weather, for food, for the space. Uh, the competition was a very uh, effort for for all the 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 goods materials the the natural resources natural yeah, natural yes, yes i agree they have, uh, maybe they have a harmful psychology psychological effects okay mm -hmm. psychological effects as you said very and good. get on well with each other too yes as well mm -hmm. it's difficult to get on well with each other because they are constantly fighting Fight, yes, yes. Yes. for natural it's resources, for fighting. space. Yes, there is a constant competition. Okay, mm -hmm. now we have an effect. The father is unable fight. to feed his night. Sorry? Um, what did you say? Continue? Yes, please. Well, okay. Now, the next effect is that in, in the reading they mention a father that is unable to feed his nine children. What is the cause of this? Overpopulation Maybe. also Over leads to poverty. Uh -huh. All right, poverty, as we have poverty. mentioned. And um, this is uh, famine. Maybe oh, education. Oh, my. Education. Oh, education also, because, because he, he, he ignored that it's not possible to, to, to pregnant nine times the wife and yes, then it's true. It, mm -hmm. well it's an effect reflected by the facts at the end yes. also uh, people um, with no well nutrition right? hungry people yeah the yes. health is it, it, the health uh, state is low Okay. Have in this moment, there, there are uh, many people who have uh, hungry, and in the in the next uh, years, next uh, uh, ten years or, or twenty years, uh, the the situation was more pro problematic because the the food is uh, is isn't enough for all the population. 
the yes. food, the, the water, and the other uh, natural recourse. Yes, okay. So and the big low rate chances of I mean, health. Yeah, yes. they don't have access to to health. Yeah. Services, mm -hmm, as you yeah. as you said. So as I was telling you at the beginning, the world's poorest countries tend to have the largest family sizes. Yes. High population growth, uh, they trap they trap people into um, into poverty. And yeah. as they are in that um, in that situation, they cannot confront um, challenges such as hunger, disease, environmental destruction, because they they tend to use more the natural resources to okay. maybe their maybe organize crime and vandalism because they live in poverty and they looking for food, for clothes, for the other priorities things. Maybe yes, it's true. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, okay, very good. Now it says a great number of people use their cars. What is the effect? Uh, uh, the pollution. A great number of people yes. use these cars. Uh -huh. The pollution, air, air pollution. Uh -huh. amount of pollution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the use cleaning in energy. In the global world as well. uh, uh, large amounts of greenhouse gases. Okay. Mm -hmm. Energy cleans we need in this uh, population. Yes. We don't have energy clean. All right, good. And in the let in the the writer mentioned traffic jams and noise. Agreed. Yes. 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 And a great amount of pollution. Yes. Good. Also. Now, uh, Oh, yes. Excuse me. Also, there's a, a lot of animals, a species, in in danger to extinct. Yes, there are some animals and are dying out. Some species of animals are, are dying out because yes, it, it's true. Good. Um, in the reading says, what is um, a synonym of not control? Not control. Oh, it's unchecked. 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 Yes, unchecked growth. Okay. Unchecked. Yes, I agree. Um, synonym of show. Exhibit. 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 Mm -hmm. Exhibit. Yes. Good. Um, hopelessly. Desperately. 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 How do you say that? Desperately. <laughs> <laughs> Desperately. 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 Yes. Desperately. Desperately. Right. Desperately. Desperately. Okay. Desperately. Good. Desperately. Now, what do, uh, what do the underlying words in the text refer to? Them, Them the humanity. Them refers to yes. humans. Humans. People. Human beings. People. people. All right. And he okay. refers to? Father. The Father. Uh, the Father. 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 The Indonesian father. The father, the father. Good. Now, here we have um, a second conditional question. If you were the writer, would you accept to prevent yourself from having children because of the current problem? So what would you say? No, I'm not agree because I think the solution is a global uh, solution. No. It's not. Uh, it's, an, it's not an option that only one person decide to to not have family. I think that's not the correct way to 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 give a good approach to the solution. Okay, very good. Um, another I think, yes. I think that only not is the only solution have uh, the family size because only uh, our, our a problem is the attitude of the humans. Yeah, they, they have to take care of the resources and don't waste um, don't waste the water, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody I, else? I, I, yes. I, I think I that think the, the problem is the, when the person isn't uh, uh, con, con, isn't concerned about the, the problem for about the future problem they 
they want to to have a, a voice a, a, a children but he, but they don't think about uh, the the future for your, for their children okay Okay. I, I think, I, I that, think that we need a good politics public focus in a global problem situation and uh, focus in an emergency economic. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, and nowadays uh, there is an, uh, problem because the size of the family are smaller nowadays. And I guess that uh, people is conscious about this kind of problem are getting are getting aware of this problem or getting conscious but it's like a little by little yeah i think i think other solution is uh, do uh, do things that impact in the society such as respect other living beings like animals plants and other living beings mm -hmm. okay any other opinion yes about i don't agree with the not having children but uh -huh. I think each woman just have uh, one child because in the um, pronostic graph, uh, mm -hmm. I can check it. If you have just one child, uh, uh, this says the, the problem. This says um, decrease, decrease the problem. If, jo if the woman just have uh, one child in 10 or 50 years, the people is uh, better in this uh, earth. Okay, because if people have access to mother family planning services, I think yes. we'll become aware of this problem. So the global population will decrease. Yes. Yes. But um, it's a um, it's a work that needs to be done little by little, and the government has to promote this kind of programs. Yes, this yes. is good. Uh, there are these programs public. in the, you know, in the public uh, health services, but um, I think that in the poorest communities is where the problem persists. So, yeah. yes, the because government needs to take like yeah. policies. I think, some, yes. Mm -hmm. no, excuse me. I think uh, there's another social condition in some communities very very poor they uh -huh. consider the children like a labor force yes, work force uh -huh. and if they have more and more and more they have a lot of, of workforce it's terrible the the kind condition of some children um, working at nine at eight years yeah. it's terrible very very uh, complicated Incredible. situation Yes, and parents take them out uh, from school in order to to start working at a very early age. Uh, yes. That leads to an unsustainable population, yes. unfortunately, where yes. dignity and, and standard of living are very, very low in this case. Yes. Okay. Well, now, yes, but I, I think but, where uh, Hans Rosling in her in his talk, he said that the main problem is the low um, child survive in uh -huh. the poorest countries. And that's why they, the, poorest, uh, the poorest families have a lot of child because uh, if they have uh, 10 child, only five survive. And mm -hmm. uh, or, the, less. That, or less, or less, uh, I think, uh, and, in the the control of the fecundity is not the solution. The solution is the to to improve the life condition of these poor poorest families. Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree okay. with you. Very good. Now let's move on because the time is running. <laughs> it says here. <laughs> Complete the, the dialogue with lo, uh, logical utterances. In this um, exercise, we want two people to participate. Who wants to to read about Robert and who who wants to be trench? 
Me, Angelina. Okay, so go ahead, very quickly. Um, Robert. Hi, Trench. You are looking good. Did you go for a vacation somewhere? Yes, I went to Hawaii. Hawaii? Wow, that sounds exotic. I've heard that Hawaii Volcanoes, National Park, and Nepalicas are amazing. Yes, I agree. The islands yes, are so yes. green and the water is so, so blue. Will you go to the beach? Uh, what about food? The beach goes on the forever yeah, and forever. the food, and is, the fantastic. food is fantastic. I always remember I, this vacation. I remember this vacation. Did oh. you swim? Yes, I went swimming every day. I had the time of my life. What is the weather? The weather was nice, bright and sunny. You should go there if you can. I'm sure you didn't miss enjoying your time. Yes, I didn't miss enjoying my time. Yes, I think I will. Okay, very good. Great. Now remember the pronunciation of island. Um, we don't read letter S, island. Um, volcanoes. And that's it. Okay. Now uh, you have an essay topic. You can send it to me uh, if you want in order to check it. It says, I'm suffocating, suffering, men are making too much damage. Now it is time to tell them, stop. What are you leaving for the future generations? This is um, an essay topic. You can do it if you want. It's, it's optional. You can send it to me. Yeah. And then we have other uh, exercises. Uh, we can check them now. But we only have ten less than 10 minutes left. Um, I want to explain a little bit about the um, Schoology platform. So guys, um, I have already opened an Schoology group. Okay. Um, I will send the link and the access code to your emails. Okay. Basically, you have to find this course that English B2, the DEPA first partial, click to it, and you will find these folders. In the first, in the first folder, in the first folder, you will find some uh, pending activities and here you can send the letter of advice. If you haven't sent it to me, uh, you can do it here. And then the film review and the draft of the minute present of the oral three minute presentation. And then there is another folder where it says uh, worksheets. In this folder, there are the, the worksheets that I have already sent. The first one is the reading that we have just seen today. The second is activity six, and the next is activity seven. You can send them here as well. And you have another folder that is the about the present perfect. Uh, I sent some, uh, a link for the British Council, and then you have to to do some exercises and make some screenshots and put them on a Word sheet and send them here. Basically, that is for sending your, submitting your, your homework and to have it everything more organized and to have a better control. And there is another folder where you can check the calendar of activities that I have already sent to you. You have already seen it. So this is for for the um, access uh, for accessing to this um, school platform. You only need an access access code that is over here and a link. So that is very easy. 
So guys, um, now uh, I want you to register your attendance because the, the time is running out. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this session and um, I appreciate your being here. I hope to talk, uh, to talk to you soon in another session maybe. As, as you know, these sessions are, are optional, they are not compulsory. So that's why I really appreciate your, your being here. Thank you very much, everybody. In the chat, you can see the link the link to, to this session to register your attendance. Please uh, check it. And if you have any question, please let me know now. Uh, good morning, everyone. Teacher, good morning. Um, hello. Uh, he hello. Uh, I, I just, um, I, I'm just review. Uh, now we are appending activities, uh, worksheets, uh, present perfect, and calendar activities, uh, and schoology. Uh, so we um, need to do uh, a step by step one of them. As you, as you know, uh, there are some dates uh, and deadlines. So, yes, you need to check the, the dates in which you have to, to hand in the activities, to submit the activities. Uh, each of, of them has different dates and deadlines. So, that is the order. Uh, in which you are going to to carry out the activities. Ah, okay. Then we need the order and the schedules, uh, right? Yes. For example, okay. there is um, an activity for April the third, another for April the fourth, another um, for April the seventeenth. These are the deadlines. Okay. Of course, you can send them uh, before these these deadlines, but in the in the Schoology, you will find a, um, a column where it says upcoming, and here you can see the dates, the deadlines of each of the activities that you have to submit. Ah, okay, thank you very much. It's uh, mm -hmm. more clear for me now. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. So, any other question, guys? No. no? No, so please register your attendance in the link that I sent. And for me, that's all. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, the uh, link is the first that you sent in the chat. In the chat, there is a link. Oh, okay. where's the link? Okay, it's the same question. Where's the link? The link. Uh, our personal mail or where? No. It's no. In the personal link. page, HTTPS, okay. uh -huh. double line, yes, Forms. office com, page, response page. Yes, that is. Okay, 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 thank you. Right, guys, uh -huh. is there? Have you teacher, I have a, teacher, I have a question. Yes, um, sir. Um, if I already send you my uh, homework by e via email, I have to up, uh, upload in the Schoology uh, folder, for example? No, you don't have to. You don't have to do it. Okay. Oh. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Sorry, but can you repeat the link? Okay. Um, yes. I. If not, I can send it to you to your email but it's, it's here. Or probably you can put it here in the chat. Yes, again. It's here. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, I don't know, where can I register my, my participation? Here in the link. Okay. Yes, your attendance will be registered in that link. Uh, teacher, but I can see the uh, the link. Uh, is is there in the chat or or? It's where? in the chat. It's in the 